Hello and welcome to Guildhall once again. We are sitting here in the wonderful, wonderful uh, exhibition hall which holds the members show, the 75th anniversary. And I'm here with the woman in charge of all these sorts of things, the a wonderful, extraordinary curator of Guildhall, Christina Strassfeld. Welcome to your own gallery. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. So I drove by the other day and my little girl says to me, Mom, what is that crazy sculpture in front of Guild Hall? And she said, it looks like a bunch of uh, screws or nails. And now that's a John Chamberlain? It's a John Chamberlain sculpture and we're so excited. It's on loan to us from the Gagosian Gallery mm -hmm. and it'll be here through December 31st. Um, it's called Mermaid's Mischief and it's over 12 feet tall and it's made of aluminum, colored mm -hmm. aluminum, and we are thrilled to have it. It just came back from Florida. It was at the Seagram's building in New York, and we will have it to grace the front of Guild Hall. Wow, right through nearly Christmas or Absolutely. after? Absolutely, right after Christmas. Oh, that'll cheer things up, and it's even green. It's totally green. You can green. light it up. <laughs> it's lit up at <laughs> we night. We don't need a tree. And I think it's just sort of a wonderful, uh -huh. whimsical uh, piece of sculpture. Not what mm -hmm. you traditionally think of as John Chamberlain's, because everyone always no. associates the car crashes right. and those great mm -hmm. pieces. But this piece is a little uh -huh. bit different. He uh -huh. did it late in his life in the 70s um, for his 70th birthday. They had these little uh, aluminum foil pieces that were then enlarged to make full-scale sculptures. Wow. He recently passed away. Yes, yeah. in 2011. Yeah, yeah. So we miss his energy out here. He was based in uh, Shelter Island, Shelter I believe. Shelter Island, yes. that's right. So you have so much on the agenda. Tell us about what's starting. Is it the Artists and Writers exhibition of all who participated, if I understand it right? That's right. Mm -hmm. It's celebrating, it's their 65th anniversary mm -hmm. of the game. And um, so it's They're really just a, a little younger than a the member young. show here. That's right, we're celebrating our 75th okay. for the member show. 83rd for Guild Hall, um, so right. they're they're newbies on the block. Yeah, but it's wonderful because mm -hmm. they've been part of the community just as Guild Hall has been part of the community, and they give back to the community as well. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to celebrate all of the wonderful artists who've participated over the years, from Franz Klein and De Kooning and Pollock, all mm -hmm. the way Eric Ernst, Eric Fischel, uh, Laurie Singer, uh, just a great Randy group of Rosenthal. people. Randy There's Rosenthal, so Dan Weldon. Terrific group, yeah. and also the writers, Kurt mm -hmm. Vonnegut, uh, George Plimpton, Carl Bernstein. It's just an amazing, amazing group, and they get together regularly. Mm -hmm. They do this on an annual basis, and the funds that are raised help um, human resources organizations. You've even had uh, Bill Clinton, right? Absolutely. We're I wonder have, if he'll be gracing our opening. Wouldn't it be great? We're going to have uh -huh. a signed book by him and also are a letter you? that he wrote in honor of um, one of the anniversaries for oh. the Artists and Writers game. And this is being put together, I understand, by my dear friend Leif Hope and Elena Prohaska Glenn and others, I'm sure, have been very involved. So that's exciting. And then I hear you've got my great friend and uh, great conversationalist, John Alexander. Yes, I've wanted to do a John Alexander show for years, and so I'm so excited because he's going to be showing some of the some recent work um, for the last couple of years, and a piece that's actually going to be hot off the studio walls. I don't yes. believe it's even finished quite <laughs> yet, so we're really thrilled. It's going to be a George Washington crossing the Delaware in his usual sort of theatrical way, where he has a little bit of uh, nuances and sort of satire and humor and a little bit of everything in John's work. Some masks and some villains, and uh, it sounds a little Larry Rivers like. Absolutely. You know? you know, I never thought about that, but yeah. it does sound a little like what Larry did and sort uh -huh. of that little uh, twist and sh sort of giving it back to the audience. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely John. Yeah, and, and he's going to be here for a conversation, right? He will. We're so excited about mm -hmm. that. He's going to be speaking um, and he'll be up on the stage and mm -hmm. he'll be answering questions and it'll With be With his Texas drawl. He is Mr. Charm. He certainly is. He <laughs> certainly is. Yeah, he's a legend. And we have a lot of wonderful artists, it seems, here from Texas. Now you've got Joel Perlman. Yes, again, a really wonderful mm. opportunity to show Joel Perlman's work in the Sculpture Garden. He's going to have five major pieces there. Oh. And he'll be also showing mm. a number of pieces in our Wasserstein Family Gallery. And, you know, his work, again, uh, it spans a lifetime. Uh, he's just been so committed, a great artist. And uh, I think a lot of people may not know Joel's work. So I I'm really happy that we're going to be able to introduce it to a larger yes. public. Yes, that's fantastic. I, I think you're right. We need to know more about him. And then Chuck 
close, of course, we all know and love. He'll be here in conversation with Robert Storr. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about that, what's in store for us? It's so exciting because Chuck Close, mm -hmm. I did a show of his work in 1992 when I first mm -hmm. became curator, mm -hmm. and I was thrilled to work with him then mm -hmm. showing large-scale Polaroid works. Mm -hmm. And this time we're showing new tapestries and new felt prints that he's done. And um, Rob Storr is just a genius. You know, he's mm -hmm. the dean of the uh, Yale Art School. Yes. Um, he was curator at MoMA. He taught at NYU. And we're thrilled to have him because he's mm -hmm. written extensively on Chuck Close, and they're good friends. So their conversation will be very lively and I'm sure very informative. And you get all these great curators. You just had the curator from uh, the Whitney here for this show that we're sitting in the middle of. That's right, Elizabeth so, Sussman, who yeah. actually curated the 1993 and mm -hmm. the, 19, the 2012 biennial, was the person who was the awards judge mm -hmm. this year. And it was just such a pleasure to have her come in, mm -hmm. and she took a lot of time, looked mm -hmm. at these amazing works, and mm -hmm. again was honoring uh, the people, the artists of our community, saying how fascinated she was that this was mm -hmm. sort of a non juried show, and yeah. also the level of the artist's works yeah. here. So it's a right. great honor to have her here, and um, we're, we're really thrilled with it, and I'm mm -hmm. thrilled with um, Stephanie Brody Letterman winning the top honors oh, award yeah. she and getting a one-person show. She it. It's so fantastic. Wonderful artist. And uh, you have, we only have a few more seconds, actually. Are there any other people you want to quickly mention? I do want to say that we're having a book signing mm -hmm. with Eric Fischel. His yeah. new book, yeah, Bad Eric. Boy, will be okay. here. Okay. And so you could see Eric. He'll be talking with Phyllis Tuckman, the art it's critic. It's called Bad Boy? Bad Boy, after his famous painting, which is now mm -hmm. in the uh, yeah. museum in Australia. Yeah, that's the kind of uh, real erotic. Absolutely, yeah, the early, uh, big early official. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So I think that'll be really exciting because I think mm -hmm. the book is very revealing about his history, his past, mm -hmm. and a lot of nuances about the art world, some that we may mm -hmm. have known and a lot that we didn't know oh, we about. We want to know his secrets. Yes. He has all of them. <laughs> Everyone goes to Eric and just spills the beans, and he's been zipped the lip up until now. That's right. We're going to find out. We are. We are. <laughs> and he's just another wonderful artist yeah. and a really interesting person to talk to. Such a fun guy. Yeah. So have we basically covered it? I think for we've now? covered the or at least scratch the surface. We scratch the surface because there's some wonderful talks as well Thank that you. are going to go along with the artists and writers. Thank you, Christina. Well, you're the best, and you bring in all the big deals, all the heavyweights, and we thank you. Keep on rocking. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Ruth Appelhoff, and it's always my great pleasure to hear about what they have cooked up for the summer, and we're about to hear about all the things you have to drop everything so that you can participate in. Right. So, Ruth, it's Hi, a very Michelle. exciting summer, and it's great it's to great see you. Us. You're looking spectacular as oh, thank always. You. Thank you very much. We we Rested really it up for the summer. Well, of course, yes. but we really have. I know I say this every year, <laughs> but this year it is the best year ever. It's amazing. Oh. And yeah, I, it really happened because there were so many people in the community mm -hmm. that helped us get this great talent really? here. So for every great performance that will mm -hmm. be here this summer, there are several people behind the scenes that made it happen. Mm -hmm. I bet people who either live here, weekend yeah. here, summer here, mm -hmm. and it all comes together yeah. as a team. Right, right. Which well, you a lot are. of people that are on shared boards, our board mm -hmm. and another board and yes you know, that really have helped us so Well, look at us with LTV and Guild Hall, how yeah. we collaborate on so many things. And thank you for that. It's been great. We love it. We love it. We're I partners. Do I do, too. So uh, tell us what's happening first on your agenda that you're most excited about sharing with us. Well, thank you. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about just briefly is the Hamptons Institute. Oh. And for people that don't know about it, because it's still new, is this is our third year. Yeah. It's it, a little like TED Talks, I always yes, think, Yes, it's TED right? Talks, yes. Or the Aspen Panel. Institute. It, yeah. Yeah, or the Aspen Institute. And yes. In fact, we actually stole the idea from the Aspen Institute. Uh, they were very gracious and didn't complain. But anyway. Which we, Walter Isaacson now heads, right. I believe, who was honored this year That's at your right. gala. Yeah. So lovely it all man. comes around. Mm -hmm. What a lovely guy. Yeah. Yes. So our Hamptons Institute is on June 15th, yes. one day. It's a Saturday. Just one day. One day. And uh, we have some of the most amazing people coming mm -hmm. to talk about various topics that we all mm -hmm. are concerned about. 
and want to learn more about, but very rarely do we have enough time to even read a newspaper about it. Yeah. So we want to get in this conversation. Yeah. Right, right. Right. So and we have a chance. Our yeah. audience is part of the conversation. So when they come, if they exactly. have a question, they can ask it. There is an opportunity to hobnob with the speakers afterwards. <laughs> we have a reception following. So there's a lot of one-to-one -one, mm -hmm. uh, conversations that can be had. Our first panel is on education. Mm -hmm. And a young woman whose name is Jackie Adams, she was a CBS correspondent for mm -hmm. several years, has organized this. And it's about all of the issues oh, around, yes. converse, uh, around education and how mm -hmm. people are now looking at charter schools. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Is the curriculum suitable? Do we need to test teachers? All of those mm -hmm. very important questions Is will be brought up. Is testing important? Um, right. I know you can take courses like at Harvard online yeah, now. Things right. are changing. Are Completely. there going to be classrooms in the future? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Um, is it necessary to get a uh, liberal arts education? There's so At much. At all, that's right. So, that's right. yeah, and very one timely. one of the people on uh, that education panel mm -hmm. is someone from our community, from oh. East Hampton, mm -hmm. Priscilla Campbell, oh. who is one of the finest teachers in the United States. And oh, we're just my. so lucky to have mm -hmm. her here teaching our kids and now on this panel talking about how she does it. Well, take a day away from the beach right. and fill your head right. instead of your skin with sun, the head with all sorts of interesting educational facts. Yeah. All and right. Our other, our, we have two other panels. One mm -hmm. is on climate change. Yes. And it's called After Sandy, which oh, yes. I think is kind of a wonderful, mm -hmm. poignant title. Um, we're bringing mm -hmm. in uh, professors and scientists from Columbia University who are in the Earth Institute there. Oh and they're going to be discussing mm -hmm. what is going to have happen after Sandy. What do we have mm -hmm. to look forward mm -hmm. to, worry about, mm -hmm. and especially out here, of course, on the East mm -hmm. End, we're so vulnerable to the climate that I think this is gonna be particularly important for people. Uh, and the third You're panel right. is actually uh, one on China and oh the economic yes. relationship between the United States and China. So tell me about some of your other benefits and galas. Right. Well, we have a, a number of them, as <laughs> ever, and uh, this summer we're very, very excited about them. The first one is July 6th, okay. and it's Audra McDonald, who oh, was mark the star your calendar. of Porgy and Beth. Oh, She's my amazing. Gosh. She's fact, amazing. I, I saw her on PBS mm -hmm. last night. She did yes. a big concert at Lincoln Center recently. Oh. It was wonderful. So she's she coming here. She has one of the most magical, yeah. charismatic ways on stage of anyone to come along mm -hmm. in many decades, I think. They she's, say that she has one of the most powerful voices in yes. the world. Yes. And oh, she's mm -hmm. just stunning to look yeah. at. Isn't she? So we're doing the concert mm -hmm. here on the John Drew Theater. Uh, and then we're going off to a beautiful dinner mm -hmm. uh, just up the street on Dunemere, a very lovely tented dinner. So we're hoping oh. that people will sign up and what join an us evening. for that. Yeah. Oh my. And they and can supporting. all meet Audra, you know, yeah. and talk to her and be part of the of the program that evening. That's so. fantastic. It's lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, following that, we have the Clothesline Art Sale. Yes. Now that is on August 3rd. It's always the first Saturday in August. And the that deals brings, people get there. It's on, and the people yes. online around the block. It's I know it. Yeah, that's truly. True. And people, their entire homes sometimes are just decorated beautifully <laughs> from know. this artwork. Yeah, thousands mm -hmm. of artists, thousands of mm -hmm. works of art, and mm -hmm. I know there are many other art fairs out here, but this mm -hmm. is the one where you can get the best bargains. You're so not I'm kidding. I'm encouraging people to come to rain that. or it's shine, all day, right? rain or shine. Yes. on Saturday. Uh, August 3rd. August 3rd. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the next one coming up is our wonderful summer uh, gala. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year we're honoring Chuck Close. Uh, we're doing a wonderful <sighs> show of yes. all of his new work here in the galleries. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be in conversation on yes. stage one day. I yeah. know we just yeah. talked about that with That's Christina. Right. That's yeah. right. The Saturday after the opening, mm -hmm. August 10th, he'll be here. So mm -hmm. um, the 9th will be this gorgeous gala, not mm -hmm. only here uh, meeting Chuck and seeing all his new work, which is mm -hmm. spectacular, oh. 
but also we're invited to Len Riggio, Louise and Len Riggio's beautiful oh. home in Bridgehampton. Oh my. You know, it, it's just a spectacular mm -hmm. home and mm -hmm. uh, they are so gracious to invite us to come there for a big mm -hmm. tented dinner and you know, all yes. of the all of the exciting accoutrements, and yeah. including a magical mm -hmm. auction that has been so oh. fantastic every year that we can't quite mm -hmm. believe it. But yes, I, I can only imagine what's auctioned off here yeah. in the Hamptons. Oh yeah, and then uh, well, it's all it? art. It's all oh, it's art. all art. Yes. I yeah. see. Okay, yeah. from artists of the Hamptons mm -hmm. of That's note. Right. Yes, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. lastly, is it the uh, garden? Yes, as the art? garden is art. Is yes. uh, August twenty third and twenty fourth. Oh, just and before Labor Day, yep, always. always. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this year we have a great lineup. It's amazing. I know. We've, <laughs> we've got people. Well, and I have to say thank you to Michelle because mm -hmm. she's on our committee. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm enjoying it. I'm yeah. a newbie, but I'm I'm learning. Oh, the you're great. You're thank wonderful. you. So it's we uh, we have a cocktail party at the Ryan's home, and we get to go oh. into Alice their Ryan studio, oh. studios. Yeah. Wonderful artist and wonderful Alice lady. And Alan yes. And, Ryan in and there. Alan. Oh, he's fantastic too. Yeah, wonderful. Such warm people. Yeah. So that's on the 23rd and the mm -hmm. 24th. We have a breakfast here, a mm -hmm. lecture. Paul Goldberger yeah. is giving a lecture. Oh, Paul Goldberger. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And the theme is on houses and gardens and how mm -hmm. they relate to each other. So we yes. have panelists that are landscape mm -hmm. architects and panelists that are architects mm -hmm. and they're all going to be kind of sharing mm -hmm. with us uh, all mm -hmm. of their thoughts on that union that we hope perfect yes. union between the landscape and the yes. and the home as it so often is in the Hamptons yeah and then a luncheon yeah. mm -hmm. on the ocean yes uh, for high-end donors oh. and also a, a wonderful tour of five gardens and mm -hmm. I have to put in a PS too that in June we're actually doing a kickoff for this uh, program. So the That's kickoff right. will That's be at, right. uh, at the Shuloffs, yes. Paula and mm -hmm. Mickey Shuloff, mm -hmm. in the most beautiful garden oh. you have ever seen. I have heard about this. Yeah. Yes. So people that want to come to that, certainly all they have to do is call us. Mm, yeah. What an experience. So yeah. the whole summer, if you do nothing else, just do everything that Ruth just lined up for you. And yeah. you will have the most spectacular, scintillating, extraordinary summer yeah. anyone can imagine anywhere in America, I would imagine. I certainly right? agree with you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ruth, for making it happen. My it's pleasure. always so exciting to Thank see you. your gorgeous face and hear all you've been doing. Thank you, Michelle. With your wonderful staff. Love Thank you again. You. Thank you. All right. And now, may I please welcome. Josh Gladstone. Hello. The charismatic, scintillating man of Guildhall who runs everything theatrical here. And your title is? Uh, I am the artistic director of the John Drew Theater at yeah. Guildhall. That's a big role. Uh, sure. A lot rests on those broad shoulders ah, of yours. Yes, yes. You have to create magic Every, all year round. I do. I Are you tired? To. Am I tired? <laughs> yes. Uh, do I look tired? I was up no. late last night. Didn't you have a I big opening it. night last night? Well, <laughs> last night was our first preview. Okay. Uh, and our actual mm -hmm. opening night, you, you threw me when you said opening night. Oh, okay. Our actual opening Don't night, make The Cripple of Inishman by Martin McDonough is mm -hmm. this Saturday. Okay. So, yes. It, the previews, mm -hmm. though, look mm -hmm. very good, and the show's really coming together, and they they got a standing ovation they and that did. was wonderful they were oh so God. if they're doing that well in previews mm -hmm. yeah. i think when they've had a few more performances uh, put together it'll really be uh, it'll be terrific on saturday so yeah. the cast is uh, an equity cast professionals many of whom are connected to east hampton some of whom are brought in from the city they have a number of broadway credits racked up between them and and they're really doing a good job and the audience is right on the stage as they mm -hmm. were last year for Uncle Vanya that Steve also directed. Yes. And you really feel when Slippery Helen is about to beat up Cripple Billy, oh. yeah, you feel you're about to get the punch right yourself. <laughs> you're right in the, you know, uh -huh. so it's very energized, very sexy, very playful, a lot of cursing, mm -hmm. a lot of drinking, mm -hmm. a lot of um, laughs, but also a lot of heartbreak. It's a great mm -hmm. play. It's one uh, of two that we're doing this summer. One of two. And um, it is, 
it's based in the western coast of Ireland, is yes. that true? The Isles yeah. of Western Ireland in the 1930s. Wow. Around the time mm -hmm. that they made a film called The Man of Arran. Yes. And so the story is that uh, these uh, remote islanders hear of the filming on a nearby island and mm -hmm. Cripple Billy decides mm -hmm. he's going to take his opportunity to escape mm -hmm. and go off to America and be in the film. So, wow. uh, so the story sort of unfolds from there and it's a beautiful play. Does it give you a little bit of a feeling of living on an island out in a remote area so. the way we do? It feels a little claustrophobic, yes. It feels a little yeah. rural and rustic. Right, yeah. I think and like everyone done... knows your business out here. Oh, and it's all the about thing. gossip. It's yeah. all about that, yep. You right. have a character named Johnny Patine Mike, played by mm -hmm. Tuck Milligan, mm -hmm. and uh, he's the town gossip, mm -hmm. and he, tr he lives off telling the news of others on the island, which includes uh, deformed mm -hmm. sheep being born and geese chasing cats or more interesting news and and that's sort of the big part of the play mm -hmm. but it's a very small community and it's played yes. beautifully by a very handsome cast Kristen One Loman thing, uh, from uh, Sagaponic is in the cast and who is that Kristen Loman is in the oh, cast yes. and um, Georgia Freed who grew up out uh, well, yeah, here Georgia is in there well her name is Georgia, Georgia Warner Lou right Warner. And, um, yes yeah, Chris Ambrosiano, who plays Cripple mm -hmm. Billy, and Joe Pallister, who oh, is, uh, he's is, incredible. A, yes. is a guy who, and um, Tom Gustin is in the cast, and yes. Janet Sarno, and um, it's a really mm. nice company. Um, yeah, so. well, that's going to be fabulous. And then after that, you have Tony Walton involved in the next Later production. Later in the summer, in right. July, we yes. open, um, Tony Walton is directing um, a series of short and old coward plays called Tonight at oh. 8.30. These are oh, okay. little frothy, playful, sweet vignettes, mm -hmm. little comedies with music that Tony, who last directed Equus here in 2010, is back mm. to direct. Blythe Danner is starring along with Simon Jones, who's a very uh, celebrated Broadway and uh, film actor from London. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Edward Hibbert is in the cast and a number mm -hmm. of other actors from the community as well. Um, and that opens uh, July 20th and runs for three weeks until the first weekend in August. And yes. um, I think that's going to be a treat. These plays oh. are, are each funny little gems. And even yeah. though they were written mm -hmm. in the 30s, mm -hmm. they're still absolutely razor sharp. And uh, we were listening to a read through with Blythe. Mm -hmm and Simon in the city and cracking up oh. while they were at the table just playing mm -hmm. with it. So she's such a talent too. Isn't she's she? really, yes. A, yes. A, really a treat to get her back on our does stage. Does she live out here She has a time? house in East Hampton. She does, yeah. yes. And um, has done some readings here in the past. And yes, last year We sort year, of uh, reached out to her to say, mm -hmm. is there anything you might like to do? And she said, mm -hmm. you know, I did at Williamstown these no mm -hmm. coward shorts mm -hmm. a few years ago. I'd like to do them again. Mm -hmm. And I said, so that this was her baby sort of, kind of. Well, she had mentioned she, it, and I said, yeah. well, it's funny because Tony mm -hmm. Walton has mm -hmm. been speaking to me over the years mm -hmm. about this very series of plays. He's often said, we must do coward at Guild Hall. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect fit, and we've always been waiting for the timing to to sort of mm -hmm. align, and, and the stars have done that for us this, yes. this summer. And I and now, were these written to be performed together? Yes, by Noel Coward okay. and Gertrude Lawrence. He yes. actually wrote 10 short plays, mm -hmm. and there's a funny anecdote that they would do them around in different theaters on the West End, and um, they would do different plays every night. It would be tonight at 8.30, oh. but they decided the day of which of the short oh, plays they wanted fun. to do that evening, mm -hmm. which must have made the production people go crazy. Right, We're right. just doing the three, Red Peppers and Hands Across the Sea and right. um, Family Album, but there's about 10 mm -hmm. of them that he wrote that yeah. could be all played in, in uh, sync. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Now, I want to compliment you on your voice. Oh, thank you. You have an amazing voice. Did you get that from studying the classics? Because you are quite a Shakespearean actor yourself. Uh, well, I, my first training is as an actor, yes. yes. So I went to Circle in the Square uh, in mm -hmm. New York and uh, studied for a few years there and yeah. had a lot of vocal work, a lot of Linklater method work uh, that yes. we did, yeah. Right. Well, it sure comes across. Oh, thank you. So getting back to your agenda. We have a few minutes left to hear about all the rest of the season that well, you Well, it's might very busy besides the two planned. plays. Yeah, yes. we've got uh, a number of excellent concerts mm -hmm. coming up, including um, mm -hmm. two-time Grammy winner Taj Mahal is appearing with uh, the great soul singer Betty LeVette. Mm -hmm. We've got Wynton Marsalis uh, coming to play. We've mm -hmm. got um, the Orchestra of St. Luke's, the St. Luke's Chamber Ensemble. 
mm. uh, coming up in August. Something for everyone. Patty Smith, the rock and Patty roll Smith, legend, is, right. uh, is going to be here With on her the daughter, Labor Jessie. Day weekend. Yes. Yep. Um, and we've <clears> got uh, Lori Anderson, who has a house out here uh, in Springs, yes. is going to be performing. And was honored by Guild Hall of the Guild Academy. Hall and yes. plays often at BAM and around the world. Yes. Um, is Patty... Uh, she's not from out here in any Patty way, Smith, is she? No, she, I think she yes. spends some time in the Hamptons, yes. but she's not, um, doesn't live out here. No, no. But it's a, yeah. it's a treat a that Greenwich we got Village her to come girl. back. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, we're really excited about that. And, yeah. Um, and we've got um, Audra McDonald, of course, is our season opener mm -hmm. on July 6th, five-time yes. Tony winner, and that was a great uh, get. We were so happy Porgy that she Bess. was available yeah. just for Porgy and Bess, sure. So that'll mm -hmm. be, I think, a spectacular evening. And... We've got a number of uh, play readings uh, that are coming up. There's um, a new comedy called The Whisper starring Jennifer Tilly that we're going to be reading. Uh, we have Celebrity Autobiography mm -hmm. is coming back for its third oh, season this year. Yes. It's got featuring Christy Brinkley mm -hmm. and Dick Cavett and Brooke Shields oh. and uh, again Jennifer Tilly and um, Tova Felch and uh, the original huh? uh, Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio. Oh. So it'll be a fun cast for that. Out and then and you have a Patty Watt production? Yeah, there's an evening with the Astaires, which oh, is yes, uh, starring Anna right. Bergman and yes, um, she's Jennifer lovely. Sheehan and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Leroy Reams. And that's a, a yeah. lovely evening of American yeah. Songbook and Cabaret. We always mm -hmm. have to have some of that in our lineup. Yeah, but and we, we also miss have, Lee Davis. Um, Lee yeah. Davis, of course. But we're also trying to appeal to a, a little mm -hmm. bit of a younger demographic. That's why we're yes. doing classic albums live mm -hmm. which is an evening of abbey road and the beatles played that's by this right. band from toronto right. note for yeah. note cut for cut really interesting uh we have the doo-wop project coming back with the stars of broadway's jersey boys that was oh. sold out last year sort of backed by popular demand uh, and we adore marcel brickman around here oh yes and alec baldwin and will be alec back baldwin. with his uh, hosting the uh, summer docs film series yeah. um yeah. So there's, uh, I think I've maybe covered about have half you? of what's coming up. Oh, the, you, oh, I there, thought you were going to say I've covered it all. No, no, and there's, there's a more. lot more. Well, there's all the Kid Fest series, yeah. and there's uh, Chef series and Reading series, and oh, uh, yeah. more play readings, and the Upright Citizens Brigade. And in June, the, the Tony winner, Rene Aubergemois, is bringing his oh, one-man show here really? called Big Bad Wolf. Oh, uh, my gosh, I did so, read about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, I'm sure there's yeah. more. I know we're on, running out of mm -hmm. time. So We are. But so hopefully people will visit our website and see everything that's coming up. This is just a little taste. A little taste. A little taste. The appetizer. But the full course is on its way to you. So do come and join Josh and his incredible creations that he brings for all of our pleasure. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, You're the Michelle. best. Thank, Thank you. you.